If you play Minecraft Java Edition, this one simple trick could make the game go from this to something nice and smooth like this. And here's how you do it. So you're going to want to start by going to the Minecraft launcher and loading that up. Now you're going to want to click up here and go to installations. From here, select the Minecraft installation that you usually use, so this is probably going to be latest release. But we'll create a new installation just to show this off. Of course you can name it whatever you want. Now what you want to do with the installation that you're playing on is you want to go to more options right down here. And when we go to this section down here you'll see it says dash XMX 2G and then a bunch of other characters here. All we have to look at right here is this little 2G. We want to turn that 2G to the amount of gigabytes of RAM that we're going to allocate to Minecraft. So basically Minecraft will never use more than 2 gigabytes of RAM to run the game, which is a very small amount, unless you purposely tell it to use more. So if you want the game to actually run efficiently and well, you should probably use more than 2 gigabytes. Now of course the amount you use is up to you and how many gigabytes your system has, but I would recommend using at least 6 gigabytes of RAM, but even something like 8 gigabytes could be quite useful. So we'll change this to 8 gigabytes right here, and then we will press create. And now whenever we load up Minecraft on that new installation, it will use 8 gigabytes of RAM. What's good to note, is that if you have quite a few modded installations of Minecraft, you'll have to individually go to those and edit those and also change the amount of gigabytes used on each one of those as well. So it's good to know that. Also when creating a new version, you're also going to want to change that back up to how many gigabytes you want to allocate. Now you may be wondering, how do I know how many gigabytes of RAM I have on my system? Well, if you're on Windows, all you have to do is right click on your taskbar, press task manager, and now on here go to performance right here and it'll say right here memory how much you have you can click on this to see each of these and on memory it should say the amount you have here which is 32 gigabytes for me so i could probably allocate up to 16 gigabytes to minecraft although i've actually never seen minecraft use more than 9 gigabytes so even if you have a lot of memory on your computer you'll probably not need to allocate more than 8 gigabytes of ram but let's say your computer has 8 gigabytes of RAM on it, and you want to allocate maybe 4 gigabytes to Minecraft, that should be fine as long as you don't have too much else running at once, and then your game can run much more efficiently. If you want to check to make sure you've successfully allocated RAM, all you have to do is press F3 on your keyboard to open up the F3 menu, and it will tell you at the top right how much memory you have allocated. Now you can see there I have 16 gigabytes allocated, or about 16,000 megabytes, and of course whatever number you have there it'll show. But again, from the default being 2 gigabytes, increasing the amount of allocated RAM will drastically increase the performance of the game. Just be aware this is for Minecraft Java Edition, not for Bedrock or Windows 10 or anything like that, as that's not the way that they work with using your system's resources. Now there's no way to adjust how much of your CPU or graphics card Minecraft uses, but that's done automatically. However, it is always a good idea to make sure that you have as much of your RAM allocated as possible. Just be aware that allocating all of your RAM is a terrible idea could probably crash your computer and so it's never good to allocate more than probably half your RAM to Minecraft. So let's say you had 16 gigabytes of RAM, it would never be good to allocate more than 8 gigabytes of it to Minecraft and the same with lower amounts. So hopefully allocating RAM to Minecraft is making the game run a lot more smoothly for you. If so, make sure to press the like button, subscribe to see more content like this, share this video with your friends so that their Minecraft can run very well as well. Also, if you want to join the official iCraft MC Discord server, or the official iCraft MC Reddit, or even follow me on Twitter, all the links for that are in the description of this video down below. I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day. Goodbye!